Good evening, and welcome to our annual Scholars and Stars virtual reception. I am delighted to serve as this evening's host for this very special occasion. Thank you for joining us this evening as we recognize the accomplishments of our students and our faculty and honor the generosity of our donors. I am looking forward to hearing from our special guest speakers this evening as they share their inspiring stories about their FSU and CCI experience and their journeys to success. Let's begin our program with welcome remarks from our interim dean, Dr. Steve McDowell. Hello and uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining the College of Communication Information at our 2021 Scholars and Stars Scholarship Reception Program. This event every year marks a very special occasion as we salute both our donors and our scholarship recipients. And we also want to applaud our faculty and student leadership award recipients. Scholarships have a very transformative effect in the life of a student by providing that extra bit of support to help it make your educational endeavors a little bit easier to achieve. The generous gifts and support from our alumni and friends have contributed to academic achievements for current students, as well as future generations of students. Uh, we're very glad to have a number of our leadership board members join us on the call tonight or the Zoom meeting. Later in the program, you'll hear from one of our students on the influence of their scholarship and the influence it's had on their academic choices and opportunities. I wanna take a moment to recognize uh, some of our college leadership, uh, our college deans, and also our school directors. Uh, Michelle Kasmer is Associate Dean for Faculty Development. Marsha Martis is Associate Dean for Research in the college. Eve Randery is Associate Dean for Finance and Administration and also does Communication and Outreach. Danielle Martin is our Assistant Dean for Academic Affairs, supervising our Advising Center. And also I'd like to recognize our school directors. Dr. Patrick Merle is the director of the School of Communication. Dr. Carla Wood is the director of the School of Communication Science and Disorders. And Dr. Kathy Burnett is the director of the School of Information. So before we continue with our program, I'd like to take a moment and also thank our outstanding faculty who are with us this evening. And the faculty who serve in our college uh, throughout the year. Thanks very much for all that you do. And I also, as I mentioned, we have members of the leadership board here. I wanna take a bit, a minute to brag about them and their contribution. They're actively involved in supporting the college, uh, both with financial support, but also providing internships and career and mentoring opportunities. Uh, they take their time and volunteer their time both in meetings throughout the year, but also in coming to Tallahassee for board meetings a couple times a year and providing very valuable advice and support for our college. And these are all part of the tools that help us ensure student success as our students con continue in their academic and professional pursuit. So thank you very much, leadership board members. The chair of the CCI leadership board this year is attorney Tim Giordano who will now present the 2021 Leadership Board Awards. Tim, would you like to take it from here? Good evening, Seminoles. On behalf of the CCI Leadership Board, I am delighted to greet you this evening with a brief message of community and congratulations. Leadership is all about community. 
and all of you who took the time to tune in this evening have displayed it. Your presence alone is a gift to the CCI community, and we thank you. And like so many of you, the board's faculty and staff leadership award recipients this evening exemplify all we can do when we do show up in our communities. They have added to it. Their knowledge, their scholarship, their talents, their diverse perspectives, their vision, and they've held themselves and others accountable to excellence, and they know their work is not done. Please join me in celebrating our recipients this evening, professors Bailey, Katz, and Chapman, and students Sarah Collins, Shannon Williams, and Laura Kate Hughes. To each of you, we are extremely proud to be in your company, to be part of your community. Have a wonderful evening, everyone, and go Knowles. Thank you, Tim, for your leadership and your uplifting message about the power of showing up for our community. We are grateful to you and the CCI Leadership Board for being there for our faculty and our students. These leadership awards are a testament to the board's commitment to supporting student success and hopes for a brighter future. It is my honor to introduce our distinguished faculty awardees, starting from Dr. Rachel Bailey from the School of Communication. Dr. Bailey is assistant professor and directs the School of Communications doctoral program. She also spearheads the communications context lab and directs student research and investigate how media are influential in important social and health contexts, such as health perceptions, food choice, and substance use. Most recently, Dr. Bailey has begun investigating media influences in the context of perceptions of policing, violence, and social and racial justice. Dr. Bailey is committed to student success, and together we are working on a campaign to support funding for doctoral students, fellowships, and for the recruitment of the best and brightest doctoral students. Congratulations, Dr. Bailey. Hi, I'm Rachel Bailey, Associate Professor and Director of Doctoral Studies in the School of Communication. I was so pleased to hear that I'd received this award. It's a tremendous honor to be recognized in a group of such outstanding scholars and teachers. I'd like to thank Dr. Merle and Dr. McDowell for their support, for their nomination, the great CCI team, and of course, the Leadership Board. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rachel. From the School of Communication Science and Disorders, I'd like to congratulate Dr. Hugh Katz for the CCI Leadership Board Faculty Award. Dr. Katz's research interests include the early identification and prevention of language-based reading disabilities. In addition to these projects, he continues to work with colleagues and students on projects related to reading comprehension development and disorders. Thank you, Dr. Katz. Hi, I'm Hugh Katz, uh, and I'd like to thank you for uh, the uh, CCI Leadership Award. Uh, it's been my pleasure to serve as the director of the School of Communication Science and Disorders for the last eight years. Uh, we have a wonderful faculty and staff, and they made the, uh, the position quite enjoyable. And uh, uh, I look forward to continuing as a professor in the school Thank you again. From the School of Information, I'm proud to introduce Christy Chapman. She is a PhD candidate in the School of Information and has been a higher education educator for over 21 years. Christy fosters an environment where students are encouraged to share their thoughts and creativity. She has received multiple college and university wide teaching awards. Her research interests include STEM education, information technology, K through 12 pathways, and active learning pedagogy. So allow me to begin with a powerful quote from the late Maya Angelou. There is beauty and strength in diversity. Hi, I'm Christy Chapman, an instructor in the School of Information. I'd like to express my gratitude to the CCI Leadership Board for choosing me for the Faculty Leadership Award. 
I'm truly honored to receive such a distinguished honor. I am so fortunate to work with such wonderful colleagues and to be inspired by such gifted students who continue to push me to new heights. To the College of Communication and Information, the School of Information, faculty and incredible staff, and the hundreds of students who cross my path each day, I'm honored to be in your presence. Let us continue to pursue our dreams and make a positive difference in the world. Those who know me well understand my passion for information technology and the preparation of our students. Once again, I want to, want to express my gratitude for this unexpected and humbling award. Thank you. Way to go, Christy. My heartfelt wishes to our wonderful faculty scholars um, recipients. As I mentioned earlier, the CCI Leadership Board is a dedicated community of outstanding alumni and friends who are actively involved in supporting the college by promoting and advocating for its students, faculty, and programs, by providing philanthropic support, and leading and assisting with community development initiatives. These efforts, including the CCI Leadership Board Awards, have been instrumental in creating and maintaining high quality programs throughout the college and ensuring that the next generation of students receives a great education and finds opportunities for their own success. And now it's my pleasure to introduce and recognize our student recipients for the CCI Leadership Board Awards. Their journeys are impressive and the work that they do not only within the four walls of the classroom or their remote locations, now that are, we're all doing virtual classes, but also with the way that they engage with the community and how they make a difference and affect positive and tra transformative contributions. They're all exceptional. Let's, let's start off with Kate, with Laura Kate Hughes, who is a current doctoral candidate in communication theory and research in the School of Communication. Laura is a firm believer that being of service to the community is an important quality of a good leader. She practices what she believes in, as demonstrated by her teaching style, helping students to discover their own goals and creating an environment in which they could succeed. For her, leadership is a responsibility that necessitates meeting individuals where they are, helping them to discover what goals they want to accomplish and helping them to build the skills necessary to get there. A leader has to model behaviors and attitudes of kindness, creativity, and tenacity in order to build a supportive environment. And Laura exemplifies these leadership qualities and so much more. She currently serves as the graduate student representative for the Health Communication Division for the National Communication Association, or NCA. NCA is dedicated to fostering and promoting free and ethical communication, promoting the widespread appreciation of the importance of communication in public and private life, the application of competent communication to improve the quality of human life and relationships, and the use of knowledge about communication to solve human problems. As part of her duties, she helps facilitate the graduate student mentorship program at the conference and networking sessions. Receiving this award will allow her to attend the fall conference in Seattle this week. Good luck at the conference and keep up the good work, Laura. My name is Laura Kate Hughes. I am a doctoral candidate at Florida State University and I am this year's recipient of the CCI Student Leadership Award. I wanna thank the leadership committee for helping students like myself feel seen and supported. Right now, completing school within the pandemic is extremely difficult for many students across the country, but having a committee of people surround and support students like myself help us to feel seen and supported. So thank you so much. Our next CCI Leadership Board Student Awardee is Sarah Collins, who is pursuing a doctoral degree in Communication Science and Disorders. Her clinical experiences as a speech-language pathologist have taught her a lot about leadership. She's learned that to serve as a leader in the classroom and in life, 
one must accept the responsibility to be an adaptable, lifelong learner. She had to adjust her practice to support over 15, 15 students with complex communication needs this school year. Similarly, families and educators alike learned to balance new roles to maintain their physical and mental well-being as, de as detrimental life events occurred. Her clinical experiences shaped a new perspective for her in her doctoral role. Through this award, also this week, November 19th, which is this Friday, Sarah will advocate for the families and speech language pathologies, but pathologists of children who use augmentative, I'm like, I can't talk anymore, who use augmentative and alternative communication at the American Speech Language Hearing Association National Convention in Washington, D.C. Safe travels to D.C. and I wish you the best at the conference as you stand with leaders, educators, researchers and policy makers in promoting the physical and emotional health of children with intellectual and developmental disabilities and their families who work to adapt to new ways of learning and achieving their communication goals. Hi, my name is Sarah Collins and I am the recipient of the CCI Leadership Board Student Leadership Award um, in 2021. I want to thank the scholarship committee for this um, tremendous recognition. Uh, Florida State has been my home for eight years now, and I've received such um, unconditional support through my undergraduate, master's, and my PhD program. Um, I thank the leadership board. I thank the College of Communication and Information, as well as my advisor and my research team at the School of Communication Science and Disorders. Thank you so much. Aren't our students amazing? And I continue to be in awe, not only of their academic prowess and accomplishments, but of the significant ways that they make a difference in our communities. And yes, I'm talking about Shannon Williams, a doctoral student pursuing a degree in information. In her spare time, but do doctoral students really have spare time? Shannon does. In fact, she visits prisons and mentors women who are near release and helps them prepare for their transition to freedom. The women she mentors have children that are afraid to go, that they're afraid to go home to primarily because they don't feel adequate to even check their children's homework for accuracy. As an information professional, she teaches them how to properly search for valid information on the internet and she helps educate them on the resources in their area that can help them help their children. She mentors them to develop the confidence to enter the workforce and promote from their entry-level positions by not only following the expectations of the company, but by also spotting opportunities for improvement and efficiency. She encourages the women to become leaders themselves. Shannon, we thank you for the exemplary work to elevate these women and for your selflessness in getting down in the trenches and helping them see the overall vision by being there for them as a mentor. Hi, my name is Shannon Williams. I am a doctoral student in the School of Information. I wanted to take this opportunity to thank the Leadership Board for choosing me for the Student Leadership Award. I'm very honored and grateful, and it gives me the enthusiasm to continue the volunteer work that means so much to me. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. One of the most fulfilling roles of my job as the director of development for the college is meeting and getting to know the best human beings on this planet our alumni our friends and our donors who believe strongly in the transformative power of education and taking the college to greater heights through their philanthropy it's my privilege to introduce our next speaker linda alexiana fsu alumna CCI Leadership Board member and lead donor for the recently established Dr. Lawrence C. Dennis Endowment for Student Success. Linda is both a Noel and a Gator. She got her bachelor's degree in education from Florida State and a degree in banking from the Swamp. 
However, I do believe that a, that a big piece of her heart belongs with us, her CCI and FSU family. I have a deep admiration for Linda. As a career woman, she shattered the, the glass ceiling in the male-dominated world of banking. And she received numerous trailblazing awards, including being recognized by the American Institute of Banking as Banker of the Year and receiving the Women Putting Their Stamp on History Award from Tallahassee Community College as the first female bank president in North Florida. As an advocate for children, she was recognized as the Florida champion for children by the Early Childhood Association and was appointed to the Advocate Hall of Fame by the Florida Family Child Care Association. After a banking career that spanned 25 successful years, Linda became engaged in public policy and best practice program development. Embracing a human-centered design approach, Linda began engaging researchers and practitioners to figure out what people actually need and then develop, test, improve, and scale the solutions. This distinct perspective brought Linda to play a leadership role as president of Voices for Florida. In this role, she led a talented and dedicated team to create the Open Doors Outreach Network, a new practice model that successfully built a network-based delivery system of trauma-competent care and treatment practice models to serve the needs of child sex trafficking victims. Under her leadership, trauma-competent services are available to children on a 24-7 365 bases in 32 counties in Florida. And Open Doors is poised to expand to all 67 counties over the next several years. Currently, Linda serves as one of the two co-founders of the newly created SIE CoLab. The SIE CoLab is a nonprofit organization engaging students throughout FSU with thought leaders. Using the emerg emerging theory associated with social innovation and entrepreneurship, the SIE SIE Collab creates equitable and sustainable solutions to our most pressing social, economic, and environmental issues. Thank you, Linda, for all that you do and for joining us this evening as our featured donor speaker. Hello. On behalf of the CCI Leadership Board, it's an honor to say a few words in celebration and recognition of the Scholars and Stars event. While there are as many reasons for giving in support of scholarships as there are donors, I believe that what each of these donors have in common was best said by the American poet, Maya Angelou. I've learned that we shouldn't go through life with a catcher's mitt on both hands. I need to be able to throw something back. What makes our contribution as donors, throwing back if you will, so unique is the ability of the benefit of these scholarships to multiply. They multiply as each recipient advances academically. They multiply as each recipient advances in their careers. They multiply as each recipient engages in their community. And finally, they multiply collectively to make the world a better place. To promote the ideals of Maya Angelou's to throw back, I'm proud to have played a part in CCI's leadership board development and launch of the Dean Dennis Endowment for Student Success. Becoming a lead donor to this endowment was important to me for two reasons. First, the endowment serves as a legacy in honor of Dean Dennis's commitment to student success. And secondly, it provides a lasting opportunity to support the culture for student success that Larry and his team of dedicated faculty and staff have built throughout CCI. Congratulations to all you scholars and thank you to all the stars for traveling through life with a catcher's mitt on one hand, throwing back with the other hand to the next generation. Thank you, Linda, for your words of inspiration. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our student scholarship speaker, Vija Jagannathan. Vija is a senior library assistant at North Cobb Regional Library, where she serves as creative space coordinator and incorporates team learning in all levels. Vidya believes strongly in outreach and partnering with community organizations to provide quality programming and services. She volunteers her efforts 
which have included grant funding for building a community garden and working as chapter director of Girls Who Code at her branch. She is pursuing her master's in information and hopes to become the first, ma the first makerspace librarian in the Cobb County Library System. Lydia, we are proud of your accomplishments. Hello, my name is Vidya Jagannathan and I'm pursuing my Master of Science in Information and I hope to graduate in spring 2023. I'm very honored to be invited to speak in the Scholars and Stars Scholarship event. I hope my story and my journey can inspire other non-traditional students into pursuing higher education and applying for scholarships. Life's opportunities were easily within my reach in my childhood. However, losing my dad at the age of six made it a challenge to take advantage of them. Overnight, my family's financial status declined. As a child of a single mother, I had to work harder than my peers to make sure my grades secured me the scholarships that would enable a good education, which in turn would mean financial success. My unprivileged childhood made me aware of how poverty is a barrier to accessing information and resources. I immigrated to Georgia in 1995 with my husband at the age of 21. After my son was born, I faced a different set of challenges at the local library in finding diverse resources and people he could identify with. My personal experiences as a teacher, mentor, coach, and a mother of a child with alopecia universalis have shaped my project as a makerspace coordinator at the public library that I work in. It also made me aware of the barriers stemming from gender, race, and ableism. To break gender barriers precluding girls from participating in STEM fields, particularly BIPOC girls, I initiated the chapter of Girls Who Code in my library September 2020 and continue to lead the effort. I also started a weekly story time for adults with special needs, which incorporated stories, movement, music, and games. I want to focus on emergent technology and management and pioneer as my system's first makerspace librarian and provide inclusive programs for our diverse community. This is why I embarked on the less traveled road of pursuing higher education at the ripe old age of 47 and also sought scholarships. In my scholarship essays, I was honest and told my life story, gave information about my present work, and shared my aspirations for the future. I have been immensely blessed in my scholarship journey, and I was named the Georgia Library Association's Hubbard Scholar for this year. I'm also the American Library Association's 2021-2022 Spectrum Scholar, um, particularly a YALSA scholar. <clears throat> Some of what you're hearing right now is what I wrote in my scholarship essays. Um, the Spectrum program urged its recipients to reach out to the universities since uh, most universities honored Spectrum scholars with matching scholarships or waivers. I am so appreciative of Kimberly Amos Tata, the Assistant Director of Student Services, <clears throat> who has been instrumental in helping me get the Dr. Martha Jane Zackert Scholarship also. I am very grateful for the support and the financial benefit provided by the scholarships. I want to thank Elaine and Kimberly again for giving me the opportunity to tell my story. For students listening to this, don't give up, set goals and work hard towards achieving them. Most importantly, prioritize your physical and mental well-being. And thank you so much for taking your time out of your busy lives to hear me speak. Have a wonderful evening. She is such an inspiration and so touching to hear her journey. When we're together face to face during this part of the program, we call upon our student scholarship recipients on the stage to, reserve, to, to, to receive their scholarship certificates. But since we're, um, we're virtually celebrating this evening, I'd like to recognize them, our stars, and our donors who have made these endowed scholarship funds possible by announcing their endowments and the scholarship recipients. Endowed funds create a lasting benefit to the college's future success. 
The basic plan underlying an endowed fund is simple. The principle of the fund is never spend, it's invested, and the earnings are used to fulfill the purpose for which the fund was created. Tonight, we specially honor our endowed scholarship fund donors for their commitment to philanthropy. Thank you so much for helping us establish these endowments in your name and in honor of someone important to you. These endowments have made it possible for our college to provide between 90 to 100 scholarships annually that support student innovation, learning, and experiences that make a Florida State University education unique. Congratulations to our stars, our student scholarship recipients for all your hard work and commitment to academic excellence. Now, all of you students who are here with us tonight, please keep an eye out for your scholarship certificates. They will be delivered accordingly. So let's go and recognize our donors and our scholarship recipients. The Ashley Elizabeth Nugent Scholarship, Kelly Sullivan, the Dr. Avery Fund for Excellence in Communication Science and Disorders, Chelsea Crossland, Elizabeth Munoz Oliveros. The Cheryl and Joel Rosenfield Scholarship, Marja Traverick, Tadeja Bradley, Bill McGrotha Endowed Scholarship Fund, Priscilla Fernandez. The Bill and Eloise Scholarship in Communication, Haley Bussey, Madison Richeau, Molly Custis, Priscilla Fernandez. The CW Shipley Endowed Scholarship Fellowship Fund goes to Pablo Alvarez Gomez. The Clarence Edney Fellowship in Richmond, Scarlett Osorio. H.W. Wilson Foundation Endowment Scholarship Fund, Elizabeth Cousins, Rhiannon Holton, Alicia Howell. The Harold Goldstein Scholarship Fund, Camilla Rodriguez Durbin, Shannon Williams. The Cecil Beach Endowed Scholarship Fund, Mario Gomez Castro. The Irene Phillips Bacchus Endowed Scholarship, Brianna Coltoleno, Miguel Garcia Sala, and Kiana Hines. The John David Marshall Endowed Scholarship Fund, Justina Lockley, Florinda Patterson. The Curtis and Joe Ellen Hicks Fellaini Graduate Student Stipend for Speech Language Pathology, Christina Vallone. The Dr. Cynthia Memorial Scholarship Fund, Kiana Robinson. Dempsey Barron Fund, Micah Hirsch, Austin Thompson. The Esther McLaughlin Doctoral Research Scholarship, Sanyao Chen, Usong Castle Kim. The Fanilu Hamer Scholarship, Ariel Lawson. Dan St. John Internship Award, Anna Gutfreund, Cameron Park, and Emma Keeley. The Jacqueline D. Montgomery Scholarship in Information Studies, Bachelis Kaba Howard, Jillian Speck. The James T. Wills Endowed Scholarship in Communication, Janelle Chambers. Jason Holtz Memorial Scholarship Endowment, Dawson Lear. The John and Catherine Cook Endowed Scholarship, Adam Al Hassan. The, jo the Joanne and James Linog Fellowship in Communication, Zhu Zhuan Yang. The John D. Chang Memorial Scholarship, Casey Chapter, Kaya Youngquist, and Lexi Fitzpatrick. The Doctors Felipe and Betty Ann Corzani Endowment for Hispanic Marketing, Pablo Alvarez, Richard Carretero, Karen, Karen Khan, Scarlett Osorio, and Nivia Escobar Salazar. The L.L. Schendel Endowed Scholarship for Communication Disorders, Catherine Perez. The Latin American and Caribbean Scholarship, Pablo Alvarez, Luis Antonio Carrasco, Mario Chica, and Yumana Farah. The John Goudeau Endowed Scholarship Fund, Pati Kunaidin. The Lori Hosford Scholarship in Communication, Emma Cryer. The Law Librarian Scholarship goes to Mario Gomez Castro. The Kevin Nidorf Student Award, Casey Chapter. The Lewis Markson Fellowship Endowment, Latif Ayinde, 
Brittany Baum, Farhan Benamdad, Denise Gomez, Anissa Herdianti, Benhur Ravuri, Aaron Reda. The Liz Cropper Scholarship Fund, Florinda Patterson. The Lewis Shores Alumni Endowed Scholarship Fund, Brian Adames Ramirez, Renee Davis, Saint All, Lin Wen Zhang. The Mary Alice Hunt Endowed Scholarship Fund, Michelle Farfan Hodge, Angela Nguyen, Austin Persinger. The Madge Hutcherson Scholarship Fund, Cynthia Moving, and Richard Neville. The Dr. Martha Jane Zappert Scholarship, Emily Alleman, Vija Jagannathan, Sherry Marks. The Mark Ziegler Fund for Excellence in Public Speaking, Ariel Lawson, Piper Green. The Maura Susan Kaufman Memorial Endowed Scholarship Fund, Julian Kingston. Patricia Sibley Endowed Scholarship goes to Brianna Winders, Kaylin Gallagher, Hannah Falk, Olua Busayo Oyebi, Rihanna Murray. The Philemon Gates Fund for Excellence in Oral Communication, Saif Eldin Al Tahiyat. The Pablo J. Lopez Memorial Scholarship, Maria Benitez, Caroline Giordano. Professor Jean T. Sharon Endowment goes to Weston Zawaki Dorweiler. The Professor Scholarship Fund, Chelsea Guillory, Indica Matson, Willie Smith Jr. The Public School Education Scholarship and Communication Disorders, Lori Fitzgerald. The John Phipps Fund for Excellence, Abigail Burge, Vibo Duwanji, Asif Sheikh and Rebecca Peters. The Rayburn Fund for Excellence in Public Relations, Saif Eldin al Dahiyat, Savannah Gribben, Tyler Grubb, Shade Kelly, Scarlett Osorio, Chloe Philgreen. The Robin Sherry Parker Endowment in Speech Language Pathology, Bethany Zamoran. The Ron and Jenny Blazik Scholarship Fund, Andrew Pinelli. The Richard Wright Fellowship in Communication Disorders, Shirin Kambalia. The Ruth Rockwood Endowed Scholarship, Manolo Sanchez. The Steve Ellis Memorial Scholarship Fund, Jordan Cantrell. The Saul and Beverly Hirsch Fund, Juan Villanueva. The William and Alma Anderson Memorial Scholarship goes to Suzanne Castellanos. I went through the alphabet pretty quickly, didn't I? <laughs> so thank you all again for joining us this evening. And to close our celebration, please welcome our Associate Dean, Dr. Michelle Kasmer, and congratulations again to everyone. I'm Michelle Kashmir, Associate Dean in the College of Communication and Information. As we conclude today's event, I want to offer deep and sincere thanks from the CCI admin team, faculty, students, staff, and alumni. Thank you to the awesome CCI Leadership Board and generous donors who have supported the scholarships and awards. Your presence underscores the impact of investing in the power of education. Thank you to all of you who have attended the event to celebrate with us. Thank you to our scholarship and award winners. Congratulations again. And to the friends and family who support and cheer you on. And a huge thank you to our expert college staff, especially Mafe Brooks, Roger Battle, Elaine Howard, Michael Walsh, and intern Naomi Lopez, who worked countless hours to pull this amazing event together. Thank you for taking your time to celebrate with us and have a great evening.
Thank you. The program is officially over. If you want to stay in chat with each other, you're welcome to do so. And we promised you are not going to go over 7 p.m. And we actually have 15 minutes that we're giving back to you. So you can have dinner, get some drinks, or do whatever else you need to do this evening. Thank you all for coming. And thank you for everything that you do for our students. Good night.